Before you begin installing the video wall, it's important that you understand some important information. Let's check the items. You need an on-site visit checklist. First, you will need to know the install type according to the architecture design drawing. Check how many LFDs are needed and where the LFDs will be installed. Discuss the install point, perforating spot, and placing size with an interior architect. Design a basic install method after you decide to make a server operating room, plumbing, wiring, and outlet. After making an LFD design and install block diagram, estimate the time, difficulty, and process for the video wall installation. Before installation, let's go over a few items from the pre-visit checklist. Check the LFD model, size, quantity, and weight. Check the actual measurement, installation type, and wall material of the position of observation. Height of ceiling. Check the height of the LFD wall mount bracket and install a duct inside or outside. Check the wiring and UTP RS-232, power and video cable that you will be using between LFDs. After install, check finishing materials, LFD ventilation, and surrounding finishing equipment. You also want to check the maintenance, workplace, characteristic, and conditions. Follow the storage and stacking procedures to avoid damaging the LFDs. When you stack more than two LFDs, assemble and use the fixed bar. First, stack the LFDs horizontally. If the LFDs are stacked vertically, make sure the labels are visible. When you load or unload LFDs from a truck, make sure two people work together safely. The LFD panel can be easily broken if one person moves it alone. In the case of a video wall, the bezels are very slim and weak, so take extra caution to protect the LFD panels. Samsung uses double packing materials for extra panel protection. The LFD for a video wall has a slim bezel and is very weak. After opening the box, carry the LFD carefully. Caution against impact. Set the LFD box on the ground and stand it up properly. After opening the box, be careful not to lean on the LFD to avoid damage. Do not forcefully push on the edge of the LFD. LFD operating test. Power on the LFD and using the remote control, check to see if the menu is available. When you are installing the LFD, please use caution when moving. Two people should move the LFD to ensure a safe installation. Handle the LFD with care. Use one hand to grab the handle, and the other should support a corner cover. Using the Samsung wall mount bracket is recommended because it is the correct size and it is made to handle the weight of Samsung LFDs. If an LFD is out of alignment, it can cause a continuous stress between LFDs and it could cause damage to the product. Being able to finally adjust the bracket can save time and repair costs. That's why we recommend using the Samsung wall mount bracket instead of other manufacturers' product. Samsung wall mount kits contain a detailed installation manual and all parts necessary for assembly are provided. Install your wall mount on a solid wall perpendicular to the floor. If you install the product on a slanted wall, it may fall and result in severe personal injury. If there is a possibility of vibration or impact on the wall, the product can be dropped and broken. If there is a heater near the product, it can be out of order because of overheating. Check the stability of the wall or reinforcing structure. Before attaching the wall mount to surfaces other than plasterboard, please contact your nearest dealer for additional information. For a video wall, wall mount WMN46VD holds up to 51 pounds, 23 kilograms, Wall mount WMN55VD holds up to 64 pounds, 29 kilograms. Install safety screws to prevent the product from falling. Do not use screws that are longer than the standard length or do not comply with the VESA standard screw specifications. Screws that are too long may cause damage to the inside of the product. For wall mounts that do not comply with the VESA standard screw specifications, the length of the screws may differ depending on the wall mount specifications. Do not fasten the screws too firmly. This may damage the product or cause the product to fail, leading to personal injury. Samsung is not liable for these kinds of accidents. 
Samsung is not liable for product damage or personal injury when a non-VESA or non-specified wall mount is used or a consumer fails to follow the product installation instructions. Always have two people mount the product on a wall. Do not install your wall mount kit while your product is turned on. It may result in personal injury due to electric shock. Check to make sure there is one millimeter of space between the LFD bezels by using a business card to pass through. Let's start by attaching the set adapter to the LFD. There are two ways according to VESA standard. For landscape, you will use the 400 VESA and install each set adapter to the right side and left side. Usually, there is no space between the LFD and set adapter. If you are installing a set back box or PIM to a UE model, be sure to install the holders to ensure an additional gap of about 30 millimeters behind the wall mount. To ensure enough clearance when mounting on the top row, adjust the set adapter height to about two-thirds of the way down. Now, since the portrait orientation uses a 600 VESA mount, you will have to open the bar and secure both sides with a screw. Now, before pushing back, make sure the other LFDs are clear to avoid damage. Lock them on both sides. 